Hello and welcome to Drop Cowboy. In this video tutorial, we were going to go over how to actually set up your phone numbers, uh, your local phone numbers, your 1-800 numbers. Uh, then we're going to configure those phone numbers and able to uh, have an IVR in front of it in uh, SMS auto responder to uh, respond to your client's messages. Uh, if you just would like to set up a campaign and use your own personal cell phone, uh, you can go ahead and start your, your, your campaign by clicking the create your first campaign button. If you would like to mask your phone number and purchase a local number so people don't call your personal phone, uh, go ahead uh, and follow these instructions on how to do so. So over here on the left, you're going to be uh, a dashboard, phone numbers, IVRs, and autoresponder. Up here is going to be your total balance you have for your system, um, and this will allocate how many you know, messages you have, SMS you have, and so on. Uh, every message you actually send out and receive uh, will deduct from your total balance. We're going to go ahead and click on phone numbers. We're going to click add phone number. Over here to the left is going to be how you're going to add your phone numbers. As you can see, I'm going to add a United States local phone number. If you wanted to add a local phone number uh, across all the different countries we have, uh, go ahead and pick the country you want to add and you can go from there. We're going to add a local number. Um, if you want to add a toll-free number, go ahead and click on toll-free numbers and those ones will actually populate what is available as so. But we're gonna go ahead and add a local phone number. Uh, we're gonna go type in Scottsdale, Arizona. Below is displayed all the phone numbers that are actually currently available. In the green means that it is a good phone number. If it is in red, it was uh, reported as spam once before and someone across the country might have used it for telemarketing purposes. So we're gonna go ahead and rent this phone number right here. Once rented, uh, you will be prompted to actually upgrade your membership. Um, if you are a pay as you will customer, you must become a member. We have memberships as low as $5, uh, and it will prompt you to actually become a member, uh, enter your credit card, and upgrade right then and there. Uh, and then you will proceed to this page as we have now. So we're gonna go ahead and add some rules for this phone number. When inbound calls are received. Now, hypothetically, we're gonna send out, you know, a thousand ringless voicemails. Uh, the phone number we purchase will be displayed on that ringless voicemail. When someone calls that voicemail back, uh, it will go to our local number, and we are going to forward those calls onto our number. But when inbound calls are received, we're going to say first. We're going to say, hello. Thank you for calling drop. Yeah, boy. or sales press one. Then we're gonna go for support, press two to be taken off our list, press, we're gonna go say nine. All right, so when inbound call is received, when someone actually calls your phone number back, the first thing they're gonna hear is this message. Hello and welcome to Drop Cowboy. For sales, press one. For support, press two. To be taken over a list, press nine. Now that that welcome uh, message is available and ready to go, we're gonna add rules. So we're gonna click add rule. Okay, so when, when key pressed one, since that's our first extension, I want to forward the call to my sales division. So enter your sales division's phone number right here. I'm gonna go ahead and enter a fake phone number just for this demonstration. And we're gonna go ahead and add another rule. So whenever someone presses one, this call will be forwarded to your sales division. So we're gonna add another rule for support, press two. And then when they press two, we're gonna forward a call onto this. Enter your support phone number. I'm gonna add another rule. When key press nine, we're gonna have them removed from our list. When they press nine and take them off your DNC list, they will not be able to receive any calls or actual ringless voicemails within our system ever again. Now, 
keep in mind, if you are a one person team, uh, say a realtor, insurance insurer, agent, or someone trying to start their own business, uh, you can implement an IVR system and has many extensions you want in order to add a, a, a higher value of your company. Uh, when any key pressed, you can just forward it to the same phone number. So it makes you look like you are bigger than you actually are. So we're going to go ahead for those purposes and add sales support and to be moved from this list. And we're going to move on to the next step and set our SMS auto response up. All right. So in our voicemail, we might send a thousand messages out and say, hey, you know, yada, yada. I'm selling insurance. If you like a free quote, uh, please give me a call back um, or feel free to text me. So when someone texts back that number and say, hi, how much uh, they might text you back and say, hi, how much uh, how much do you charge for car insurance or what's your quote? So we're going to say how much for our keywords. We're going to say quote, free, and so on. So if any of these keywords match an inbound text message, um, what's going to happen is it's going to trigger an actual text back to them. So with these messages, say how much, quote, free, uh, we could even put maybe car, house, uh, any like that. So for instance, someone would say, hey, how much is uh, car insurance? How much is house insurance? Uh, can you please provide me a free quote? And so on. We're going to say, hi, thanks for your text. In order to receive a quote, please click here. www.quote. So when someone actually texts us back and they trigger one of our keywords, this message will be displayed back to them on SMS. So they'll receive a message in real time saying, you know, hey, for, more, for information on the quotes, please click here. Now, this SMS autoresponder is mainly to drive traffic to a landing page. Uh, it could be a quote page. It could be a, a page where people can set up a Calendly link to actually give you a call. Uh, any type of landing page for purchasing information or whatever you may be doing, the idea is to just to get them to text you and drive traffic to that page. We're going to go ahead and uh, finish this SMS autoresponder. Um, you can set up a variety of different responses in regards to this, this service. Uh, you can have the, the, the system actually talk back and forth with your customers. Um, it's really up to you and how in depth you want to get to this, but we're going to go ahead and just drive traffic to this, this domain name, www.quote.com. It's actually, uh, I just made it up. It's a fake name, but uh, on, this, on this domain, uh, let's just say uh, maybe someone would fill out what kind of car, what their age is, what kind of driving record they may have, and so on. So we're going to go up, set up those rules, and hit next. All right, so that phone number we purchased is configured. It's configured for my uh, SMS autoresponder and my IVR. So when anyone calls back, they can uh, press one for sales, two for support, and I need to remove my list. If someone texts back, I can drive traffic to my, uh, my website in order to, to get more information regarding my services. So that's how you configure your phone numbers. Please watch our next video and how to set up your first campaign. Uh, and thank you for joining